hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is jimaima today we are going to be talking about the best medical universities in nigeria before i talk about this i need you to understand that there is a difference between the best university and the most prestigious university prestige is great it has a lot to do with class you know that kind of stuff the fact that something is classy the fact that something is prestigious does not in any way mean that it is the best so before you talk about the best medical university in nigeria there are certain factors that should be put in place one of the factors is their admission process what's their admission quota how many do they end up admitting what percentage of the admission list is on merit still on the admission process is it transparent there are certain universities that do not release cutoff points nobody knows what score he or she is supposed to get to be able to get the admission on merit then the school fees how much is the school fees is it relatively affordable in case you've not seen my video on the most expensive and cheapest federal state and private medical universities in nigeria please go see it i'll put the link up for you one more thing you need to take into consideration is the strikes i know there are certain public universities that do not go on strike not necessarily do not go on strike but their clinical medical students do not go on strike another factor that should be put into consideration is the accreditation status of that school there are some schools that have partial accreditation there are some schools that have full accreditation when you hear that a school has full accreditation it means that they have graduated their first set of doctors this accreditation i'm talking about is by mdc and that's medical and dental council of nigeria there are some schools that have partial accreditation meaning that they have just their preclinical accreditation and they are either yet to secure full accreditation meaning that they are yet to graduate their first set of medical doctors or they had full accreditation and they lost it one more thing is the age of the facilities how old are these facilities that year year you're trying to apply to that school what do their facilities look like are their buildings dilapidated when last were those buildings renovated one more thing is their academic calendar what is the academic calendar like there are certain universities that as we speak there are set of medical students that should have graduated in 2020 are still in medical school i have a full series on the fastest and the slowest private state and federal medical universities in nigeria if you've not seen that series i'll put the link up for you one more thing is the lecturers how many professors are available to teach the medical students how many associate professors how many senior lecturers how many lecturer one how many lecturer two how many assistant lecturers there are certain medical schools that the same lecturer is teaching histology the same lecturer is teaching embryology the same lecturer is teaching literally the whole anatomy it is not right that is not how things are supposed to be done in medical school when we come into the clinical aspects how many consultants are available to teach the medical students and amongst those consultants how many of them are professors how many of these available professors available consultants are actually ready to teach the students how many of them are actually able to convey this information the right way for the students to be able to understand it's one thing to have the professors on ground and it's another thing for them to just sit in their offices and not teach all you have is just professors on paper but in actual sense they are not teaching the students still on that line of lecturers what is their method of teaching there are certain lecturers that you never see in class yes they are consultants and they are still professors they are very busy people or you never see them in the world you never see them in clinics you never see them in class all they do is just to come drop materials and disappear even if they come for class they will just come say one or two things and disappear one more very important thing is the laboratories how equipped are the laboratories how conducive are these laboratories it's not enough for you to have 200 medical students all crammed into a tiny laboratory it's not enough for you to have over 100 medical students using one set of reagents one set of samples one set of this one set of that one set of that what exactly would you say they are learning how many students are in a group to carry out one practical when it comes to clinical postings how many students are in one unit how many students are posted to that unit if you have 50 students in a class and you divide them into units and five students in one unit believe me when i say that learning will be more effective than those who are in schools where they are over 200 to 500 students and then how many of these practicals are carried out is it just theory of practical that is being carried out is it just explanation via word of mouth or via watching videos do we actually carry out these practicals one more thing is the nature of their exams is it obj is it theory is it negative marking is it closed marking system for those who don't know negative marking system is a system where if you fail one 
mark is being deducted from the ones that you have gotten right and close marking system is a system where they don't allow anybody to have beyond a particular score one more thing that we ignore a lot in nigeria is extracurricular activities is there a tennis court is there a basketball court is there a football field are there opportunities for the medical students in this school to get involved in extracurricular activities then one very big elephant in the room the teaching hospital how equipped are these teaching hospitals what kind of cases are being treated in these teaching hospitals if the medical students do not have access to actual patients if the hospital is not the kind of hospital that have a lot of patients that come in with different cases then what is the provision that the school has made for students to still learn we know of simulators where students can still practice their clinical skills the only difference is that they are not on actual human beings they are rather on simulated patients you see it a lot in some of our grouped medical universities so even though students do not have the opportunity to practice on actual patients they are able to practice on models they are able to practice on this simulator related patients so with all these points of mind it takes a lot for you to tag any medical university as the best medical university so it's relative what is best for me may not be best for you so whatever university that you think is the best university ask yourself these questions how many of these boxes do this university tick if the university is able to tick majority of the boxes here then yes you can call it the best medical university in nigeria in summary the fact that a medical university is prestigious does not in any way mean that that university is the best with all this said if you're an mbbs aspirant watching this video i have a dedicated playlist for you please go see it i remain your girl to my bye